everyone doing today so we are here again for another Sunday school class how are you guys I hope you guys miss me as much as I miss you all I keep telling you guys how much I miss you and I don't get to see you but everything is coming along great everyone is getting their vaccines so pretty soon we will be back together having a fun a great time in the lord so we have a new lesson that we're going to do and this lesson is going to tell us and teach us about jesus healing power 10 men 10 of them he healed at the same time but before we go into the lesson um, we're going to open up in prayer and before we open up in prayer I want to say I hope all is doing well I hope everybody uh, all of you guys are being really good really obedient um, helping mommy and daddy as much as you can and showing and giving them all the love that you can. So let's go into prayer. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this opportunity to come together again, to go into your word and to learn things about you that we didn't. Your healing power and all the good things that you do for us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So, the lesson is Jesus healed 10 men. But before we go there, we have our scripture. And our scripture is coming from Psalms 147, verse 5. And it says, Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding is without end. So as we go into the lesson, we will get the understanding of how his understanding is without end. So this is how Jesus met the 10 men that he healed. So I'll read you a little story here. One day, Jesus came to a small town where he met 10 men. Um, Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem and he went through a town and the town was called Samaria and Galilee. When he came to Samaria and Galilee, he went through a little village. And while being in this village, there were these 10 men that heard about Jesus. And all the great things that he is capable of. And one of those things was to heal the sick. So, and this 10 men, the sickness they had, it was called leprosy. And leprosy is a sickness that 
gives you all these little bumps all over your body. And I imagine it hurt a lot that these spent ten, these 10 guys had all these sores on their bodies. So when they came in contact with Jesus, they went to him, Lord, Lord, heal me, heal us, heal us, Lord, heal us of, of, of our of our leprosy, heal us of all these awful things on our bodies that hurts. So they couldn't come close to Jesus. And with this kind of sickness, they couldn't go close to anybody else. It's almost like having COVID. And I'm sure you guys know about COVID. So it's almost like having COVID. The difference is it's on the skin where everybody could see it. Where with COVID, nobody can see that you have it, but it does the same thing. You can't go close to other people, to family members and friends. But they didn't have to do that with Jesus because Jesus is so full of power. So much good is in him. So, um, so Jesus said to them, he healed them, but didn't seem to know that he did. He said, go to the church, go to the, to the pastor, to the priest and ask him if you were healed because the reason for him sending them to the pastor is because the pastor, our pastor, we have one also, is um, powerful workers of God, of Jesus. So it's like you go to the doctor and you're sick and the doctor gives you medicine for you to get healed. And then after you get that healing, you have to go back. And you'll see the nurse and they will confirm that you healed. So in Jesus case, he sent them to the pastor to find out if they were healed. But this is the good thing. One of the guys, one of the 10 men, whilst he was going to the priest, he realized something was different about his skin. When he looked at his skin, everything looked so good. It looked like he didn't have anything. And he was so excited and he was so happy that he turned around and went back to Jesus and started praising him and telling him thanks for healing him and what a great thing it is. So with that said, this is why we, you guys, have to be so thankful when somebody does something for you when your mom and your dad does something for you like maybe do your laundry prepare your lunch um buy your new clothes you should always always stop and say thank you even to your friends to your aunts and uncle anybody that does something nice to you Always remember to say thank you and show how much you appreciate the good things they have done for you. Even our pastor does great things for us. And sometimes we don't even take the time to say thank you. But guys, I know when we are able to get back together and embrace each other and come together, you're going to say thank you. So we always have to say thanks and we always have to give Jesus thanks, especially for waking up every day. When you wake up in the morning, say, thank you, Jesus, for waking me up. Thank you for allowing me to see another day. I really appreciate it. So now I told you guys the story about the 10 men, the 10 men that Jesus healed, right? So... I have two questions. The first question is, who can tell me when the 10 men approached Jesus and they said something to him, they asked him something, 
what did the ten men ask Jesus? What did they want Jesus to do? So I'm going to give you guys two minutes, two seconds to give me an answer. Think about it. Now, think about it carefully. Okay. Yeah. To give them healing. Yes. Now, coming to the end, I said something and I'm going to ask the question based on that. So, one of the men that Jesus healed out of the 10, what did he do? All right, two seconds. Awesome. That's it. He went back to Jesus, the magic word, and said, Thank you, Lord, for healing me, making me whole again. Right? So, you see, in everything that Jesus does, he always goes back where people would go back to him and tell him thanks for everything. Thanks for what he's done for them. And that's to tell us how important it is for us to always have thank you on our lips, always ready to come out with a smile and with joy and appreciation. Right, guys? Okay. So now we have a memory verse. And what I'm going to ask you guys to do, the homework is to ask your mom or dad to help you um, to go over the memory verse. And the memory verse is, God is our Lord and he is mighty in power and we know he's mighty in power, right? One of the ways we know he's mighty in power is we woke up this morning. We wake up every morning. Okay? And we have food on the table. And mommy's on the left and daddy's on, the, on our right. And he is understanding. And his understanding goes on without end. It's always there. He's always understanding to us all we have to do is to call upon him and i know you guys know how to call upon jesus and i hope when you wake up in the morning you call upon him give him thanks i hope you're saying your prayer at morning and before you go to bed at night to give him thanks for everything that he has given you throughout the day and to thank him in advance for waking you up the next day. And then when you wake up, you give him thanks again for everything that he's going to give you for that new day. Okay? So it's been nice being here with you guys. Another class. I love you guys. Hugs and kisses to you all. See you again soon.